Hey guys, Etienne Sun here from Sunbros, and today I'm really excited to be bringing you a new all-in-one guide to the newest fighter marksman hybrid, Roger, the dire wolf hunter. The thing that makes Roger really special is that he is extremely effective at both melee as a fighter and range as a marksman. Roger was a hunter outside of Megalith who hunted down the king of the wolves, White Tooth, and became cursed and became a werewolf. So now he can turn into a werewolf on command in game and use all of his werewolf abilities as well as all his human abilities. So he actually has six abilities in all. Roger also comes with a second skin upon release called Dark Gent. I think it's the best released second skin for any hero in the game ever. It's awesome mafia look. He's got the awesome vest and jacket, smoking a cigar. He looks really sharp. Now on to discussing Roger's skills, we start off with his passive full moon curse. It's the same for human and wolf form, there's not two passives, there's just one. In human form, basic attacks lower enemy movement speed by 20%, and in wolf form, basic attacks add damage based on the missing health of the enemy. So we're going to go ahead and discuss his abilities, and we're going to discuss all the human form abilities first, and then we're going to discuss all the wolf abilities. So we're going to start with his first ability in human form, which is full bore. Essentially, you shoot two quick shots out of your gun. The first one slows the enemy, the second one reduces enemy defense. Uh, this is a really good early game ability. It does more damage than you do in auto attacks or basic attacks. Later in the game, it will not do as much damage as your basic attacks will do, but you will still use it for the great, the great slow and the reducing of the enemy's defense. I really like to use it when I'm ganking an enemy hero because when I hit him with it, I get that slow in the defense reduction, then I jump in as a wolf and go wolf bananas on them. The next ability in human form is called Hunter Steps. It increases the movement speed of a hero by 40% lasting 2 seconds. However, making basic attacks in human form does increase the duration of the effect of the movement speed. Uh, so essentially, I pretty much exclusively use this ability to get around the map. If you want to use it intelligently to get somewhere really fast, you'll hit it and then you'll basic attack enemy jungle minions or, or just regular lane minions along the way to keep the duration of the movement speed going. And your human form ultimate is called Wolf Transformation. Roger lunges or jumps onto an enemy and turning into a werewolf in midair and upon landing does physical damage in an AoE circle causing movement speed of enemies to drop by 90%. Uh, when you go to wolf form, it raises your physical and magical defense by 25 and increases its movement speed by 25. Uh, essentially, this ability is almost a stun. 90% movement speed reduction for a second and a half is pretty insane, and I use it as an initiator to most of my fights. I usually start my fights with the full bore ability to get that slow and the defense reduction, and then I jump in as a wolf to get the 90% slow, and then I start going crazy doing all the werewolf damage. Essentially, the way I view Roger's human form is as a support system to his werewolf form, which is going to be what you're in most of the time to kill people and deal mass damage. But I do use human form for is for doing all the poking that I want to do. If I ever need any kind of long range damage, I'll be in human form. And to get around the map, human form is usually a little bit better at that. Uh, and then for the slows to get stuff started, I usually start fights in human form and end them in werewolf form. Now on to his first werewolf form ability. It's called Lycan Pounce. Lycan Pounce has easily become one of my favorite abilities in the game and what I would consider to be at least a top three best ability in the game. Lycan Pounce, essentially what happens is Roger jumps towards an enemy target and while he's jumping, he becomes untargetable and unselectable. So essentially, he can't be targeted by an ability. Um, so like you're talking like Eudora's Fork Lightning or Stun or any of those uh, non-skill shot abilities. Uh, you can't be basic attack, and let's say that a targeted ability, for example, Cyclops' ult or Yun Zhao's lunge are being directed at him, and he does like and pounce, they will actually unselect from him and go towards somebody else, which is really, really nasty. It's like Cho Shun Po on crack. Now, while he's jumping, Roger does a good amount of damage to up to three heroes at a time, and so obviously if there's three heroes around he'll be in the air longer and he'll be dodging abilities and damage longer the end result is pretty disgusting Lycan pounce is a phenomenal ability now you're gonna want to use that to dodge abilities you're gonna want to use it to catch up to enemies that are running away and you're gonna want to use it to potentially jump over walls towards jungle minions or something to escape 
danger or damage or death. Um, but Lycan Pounce is phenomenal, and, I, and if I were to give you any real big suggestion, it would be to master the use of Lycan Pounce. It's awesome. Our second werewolf form ability is called Bloodthirsty Howl. Roger lets out a howl, increasing his basic attack speed by 25%. While that effect is going on, if there's an enemy with less than 40% health in his field of vision, Roger will increase his movement speed by 50%. Normally, this ability lasts 3 seconds, but just like with the second ability in human form, well, if you make basic attacks in werewolf form, you will extend the duration of this effect. So you can actually continually extend the duration of a massive attack speed boost and potential movement speed boost. The attack speed boost you get from Bloodthirsty Howl is one of the main components of Roger's entire kit. The moment I jump on an enemy hero or into a team fight with the human old wolf transformation that causes that huge slow, I immediately press the Bloodthirsty Howl, getting that attack speed and I start doing my big boy damage. The great part about this is that when the enemy gets low and tries to run away, you already have a movement speed buff from the Bloodthirsty Howl to chase him down and finish him off, especially if they try to teleport or dash or flicker, who have Lycan Pounds waiting in the wings to finish him off. And lastly, we have the ultimate in werewolf form, Restore Human Form. Roger rolls in a specified direction, turning back into a human being and receiving a shield that protects him for one and a half seconds. First of all, I can't even begin to tell you how many times this ability has saved my life. Second of all, I really enjoy using this ability if I'm in a melee fight 1v2 or 1v1 and I feel like there's a chance I'm not winning, I'll jump away with human form, get the shield, and then shoot off the full bore abilities, hopefully finish them off before they're able to catch back up to me. Let's do a little bit of a recap on Roger's abilities. The first thing to note about his ability is that Roger giveth movement speed and Roger taketh away movement speed. First we start with the passive in human form, reduces enemy movement speed by 20%. Then full bore, first shot of full bore, his first ability in human form, reduces movement speed. Second ability hunter steps, increases Roger's movement speed. And then his ultimate, decreases movement speed of, of enemies in an AoE area by 90%. Then we go into wolf form, and we have Bloodthirsty Howl, which increases movement speed of 50%, while an enemy with less than 40% health is in the field of vision. The second thing of note about Roger's skills is that he's able to go in and out as he pleases. Roger has an astounding three, count them one, two, three ways of getting in and out of situations. Number one is his ultimate in human form, Wolf Transformation. It's a jump. Mind you, a small jump, but still a jump that can make it over some small walls, and it's a really effective way to jump into a team fight. Next, Lycan Pounce, his first ability in wolf form, is able to engage into fights in a really powerful way. Or B, if you use it on jungle minions over walls, you can use it to help you escape from enemies. And then lastly, of course, is the Restore Human form, the ultimate in the werewolf form. And that's a roll that gives you a shield. It can be used to jump over small walls and does create a pretty decent amount of distance between you and the enemy. I'll finish up our discussion on his abilities by saying this. I'll give Roger a 10 out of 10 in quality of abilities. I'll give Roger a 10 out of 10 in entertainment of abilities. I think that his toolkit is so fun to use. And I'll give the difficulty level an 8 out of 10. Mastering maybe 9 out of 10. Mastering Roger's abilities is not going to be easy. He's got a lot of them. And the way they flow together is hard. And I'm still even learning how to really, really get great with him. It is not an easy hero or toolkit to master. But definitely, definitely worth it. I enjoy playing him tremendously. And he is a ton of fun. Now onto the role and position of Roger. Roger is an effective marksman and fighter. But I would say he's definitely better in the fighter role as the werewolf. He, had, he does more damage, he has better abilities, but it's nice to have both sets of abilities. Hands down, Roger's one of the most versatile heroes the game has ever seen. He can play in any lane, he's great at ganking, jungling, and pushing lanes. I find Roger to be an extremely underrated jungler and part of the reason why is because most people don't understand how to properly and quickly jungle with him and we'll go over that in the tips and tricks section of the video. Alright guys, let's go ahead and move to the tips and tricks section of the guide and the first thing and the most important thing that I want to talk about during this part of it is to use your first ability in the werewolf form, like, like in Pounce 
to dodge abilities and to lose lock-ons. So we talked about that a little bit already when we were talking about the abilities, but Lycan Pounce essentially makes you immune to uh, being targeted in any way, and that includes lock-on abilities like Cyclops' ult and Yun Zhao's dive. Now, mastering the ability to use this skill to dodge the biggest, baddest moves in the game is going to make you an incredible and fearsome Roger player. So what that means is you got to essentially save this ability and practice using it to dodge Alucard ults and Saber ults and things that you see. You gotta kind of predict when people are gonna use their abilities, dodge them using that, and then get back to demolishing people with your werewolf claws. But that is the first tip that I wanna share with you guys about using Roger effectively. The second tip I want to share with you guys is how powerful Roger is early game. Roger, because he's able to transform to and from werewolf form, he is extremely powerful. Level one, he's got two abilities. He can actually do the ultimate of both werewolf and human form and do the uh, first ability or whatever, the second ability, whatever you choose to purchase in each form. So that actually gives him four abilities at level one and six abilities at level two take advantage of his early game as much as you can he is so strong early game but if he were to get a uh, the first ability in human form full bore off on somebody and then he were to ult them at level one and that member that does a bunch of aoe damage and it causes a 90 percent movement reduction to the enemy then he goes to you know then he uses his uh his next ability like in uh, pounce to jump on them He's off to a pretty good start, but at this point, they probably have lost half their health. His, his level one, level two, and at level two, once you do that, and then you, you know, you start going to town with your second ability on wolf form, the bloodthirsty howl. You're talking about easily being able to kill people at level two. He's just insanely strong. Make sure you guys play, you know, carefully and precis precisely, but play aggressive early with Roger and try to get yourself fed as fast as possible. That is tip number two. Tip number three is to be a monster in the jungle. Uh, I think that Roger has one of the better jungle clears in the game, especially amongst marksmen, and I like taking advantage of that. I actually don't take Retribution because I don't think he needs it. And the way that I take advantage of being really good in the jungle with him is I, I walk up to the enemy jungler, I pop off a full bore, bam bam, my double shot, and then I jump immediately into the werewolf form, so I do damage as I land, I slow, and then I jump onto the bloodthirsty howl and I go to town, and then I run over to the next camp and I dive out and do the same exact thing. Not only does that allow me to clear you know, enemy camps quickly, but every time I start an enemy camp, I, still, I, I generally still have that shield up, so the first attack or two from that enemy jungle, I don't actually take that onto me. I, the shield absorbs it and it actually helps me sustain in jungle a lot too. Obviously, you're going to be using a lot of mana doing this, so make sure you get purple or you're buying some mana necklaces or magic necklaces, but that is tip number three. Tip number four is to utilize your incredible movement speed between his second ability in human form, which is the hunter steps, or his, all his, both of his ults. He has the ability to run really quickly and to jump over walls that you know may impede the fastest possible movement um, using both ults. He can get around. Roger can get around town, and it's best to use that to his advantage, whether you're going to finish off a low target or you're just trying to do faster jungle clearing. Remember, guys, money is what the game is about. Get fed early get to objectives and his incredible movement speed around stuff is, is really nice i have had some success trying to get to the enemy jungle to steal orange for example and i are gonna run in my jungle i can turn on my hunter steps ability shoot jungle minions as i'm running down and then ult over the wall you know where crab's at and then just it's just he can move so quick to the jungle and that's a huge advantage to him so utilize it and the fifth tip that i want to give you guys for using um Roger is this his ultimates both of them cost zero mana No mana for two ultimates on the same hero is stupid Use them as much as you want and as much as you need 
Don't be afraid to just over and over again to you know reduce walking time or to damage stuff or to get the shield. Whatever the crap you want to use look for, don't be afraid to spam that because it uses no mana. There's no reason you shouldn't use it. Those are my tips and tricks to playing Roger, and I hope they help you better understand how to play Roger effectively. Alright guys, now it's time to move on to the gear builds. And our first gear build for Roger is going to be this one at the top right here, continuous damage. We we'll start off with Scarlet Phantom, pretty standard for uh, Roger, the physical attack, attack speed crit, it kind of just gives you a little bit of everything to start off the game, which is kind of what Roger needs. That's a very common st standard starting item for people. Next, we're going to go with Rapid Boots. Um, I'm going Rapid Boots instead of the common Swift Boots because Roger doesn't need any more attack speed in this build. In this build, Roger already exceeds his 2.5 attack speed pretty early on in the game, actually before he even gets to the Demon Hunter Sword. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and skip the Swift Boots and get the Rapid Boots because we love the extra movement speed that we get on these bad boys. It really is a game changer on Roger. One of, like I've said earlier in the video, one of Roger's specialties, one of the things that makes him a special hero is all the ability to move and to get around the map and to get in, in and out of things. So movement speed on him is actually pretty awesome. Then we're gonna go with Haas' Claws for the physical attack and of course the ridiculous lifesteal. Um, <clears throat> that is key on Roger because Roger's super squishy, but he does insane damage. So the ability to regen some of that damage into health keeps him alive in all those important big time team fights. Then we're gonna go with Berserker's Fury. This starts making Roger hit like a truck. Roger starts to crit all the time once he finishes Berserker's Fury, and those crits hit for over a thousand apiece. When you combine that with, you know, using Bloodthirsty Howl and maybe even going to the battle spell Inspire if you like to use it like I do then he can crit for a lot really fast. It's pretty nutty damage. Then we're, go, then we're gonna go with Demon Hunter Sword, which gives you 35 physical attack, 400 HP, some attack speed, but the reason we go Demon Hunter Sword is because, like I said, we already get to that 2.5 attack speed with Roger, and when you throw that onto that, the 10% health that it takes off, current HP as additional physical damage. So there's actually a method to using this item, and it's this. Roger's passive, you guys remember, when he's in wolf form, does more damage on basic attacks the less health the enemy has. Well, Devour, or the, the Devour passive on Demon Hunter does more damage the more health they have. So as the Devour starts to do less damage, his passive starts to do more. So it gives him a lot of extra damage throughout the entirety of killing anyone he's attacking. It's actually a really solid pick. It's one of those little hidden things I don't see on Roger too often that I think is actually really OP. And of course, we're gonna finish it off with Blade of Despair, and that just makes Roger even more stupid at just, we don't need the attack speed, <clears throat> we don't need the, we don't need the, we always use the crit strike, but 130 physical attack, I mean, it makes Roger hit like a truck. I would consider in some occasions sw swapping out another Blade of Despair for another Berserker's Fury, because that would give him even more crit from 10 to 25, and it would just make, it, we, we lose, you know, what is it, 55, uh, we can lose 55, 65 physical attack, but the, the extra 15% crit strike is pretty nice on him. I I like Golden Blade of Spear. I think it's a solid last item, on him, and that is the build that I use most of the time. Our next build is essentially a copycat of the first build. All we do is insert the Deadly Blade as the third item, second full item. If we are facing off against an Estes, obviously this is a big deal. I always like to have an anti-Estes build in, in, in my little grouping here. And then lastly, we are going to go with our jungling set. This one starts off with the Raptor Machete, getting that ridiculous extra damage to jungle monsters as well as extra XP. Swift Boots, followed up by Haas' Claw, Berserker's Fury, Malefic Roar, and Blade of Despair. And this is essentially a straight jungle set. And what I get from this set is, as a jungler, when I jump out to gank somebody, I want to just burst them down and knock them down as hard and as fast as possible. This set hits like a truck. Later in the game, you're gonna be critting for around 2,000 damage on people, and it is absolutely insane. 
I love this set for any juggling situation, but the main one I use is going to be the top continuous damage one. But these are the three sets that I use for Roger. Then we're gonna go to Battle Spell, and I really only consider using two for Roger, and that's Inspire, which is the main one that I use. It's a really great early game if you jump on somebody, like I said earlier, with the Bloodthirsty Howl and Hit Inspire. You're gonna have some nasty damage and nasty attack speed early in the game and it'll make a significant difference if you get fed early game because of that. And I, even later game, I think it's just super helpful. Anytime your Bloodthirsty Howl goes down and you need more attack speed, this is gonna give you a little boost. The only other thing I'd really consider taking probably is Purify to just to have more escapability, but inspires what I use. And I, of course, go with the Physical Assassin uh, set for the extra crit and penetration and physical attack damage. Now finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and get into a game with Roger and show you guys what Roger's all about. An ally has been slain. Executed. through my body! Killing spree! Our turret is under attack! Can't get away! has been slain. Our turret is under attack! Legendary! Double kill! Your team destroyed a turret! Our turret has been destroyed. An enemy has been slain.
Our turret is under attack. is under attack. An ally has been slain. death. been slain. I detect the scent of prey. Kill. 
the might of my power. Destroyed a turret. An ally has been slain. Godlike. Double kill. I feel a strange power coursing through my body. An ally has been slain. Legendary! been slain. slain.
legendary ace. Shut down. Free! You will also be cursed! That gun is not my only weapon! You have slain an enemy! Executed.